Good morning, is it camera one key? A little bit, never mind. Good morning. Plastic cuddling. Uh, we are in Redditch, south, well, not, yeah, just near Redditch, not quite Redditch. Uh, just off the motorway uh, and about 20 minutes away from the yard. So I've just done my daily check. If it's good, oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, I only woke up twice last night. Um, it wasn't too bad though. I started the air conditioning, fell asleep for, for I don't know how long, and woke up again. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we're off. Let's, let's go. See what today's got in store for us. So today we are going to go to my yard, well, go to the Warwick Yard and uh, taking a couple of packs of these goods off that I've got and then the rest we're going out for delivery. Right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, M42. Right, I've just been helping the other driver with his. He's going to shift out of my way now and uh, get where he is. He's got, he had four or five drops to come off. I've got about the same. He's going down to Bridge End. Hello, Cosmic. Um, I've just been helping Arthur strap his down and he's going to move out of my way so they can start taking stuff off mine. Um, this trailer's got a lean on it, so I'm going to see what it's like after they've took some stuff off, but I think there might be something wrong with this trailer, you know, it's just leaning to one side. But I've spoken to the maintenance here, he was, ah, uh, yeah, there's no one in. It's like, yeah, no, that's why I'm ringing you. Yeah, there might be something about half eight, so I don't know, we'll just see what happens and I'll let you know. All right. All right, see you in a bit, bye. How's that, is he gone? He's gone. Ooh, it's a bit of a... Not that, not that. It's getting warm. What are we on? 22. Yes, yeah, so this trailer's got a slight lean on it. I don't, know. I don't the goods are loaded correctly. They're not, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, so I don't know if it's just like a valve that's stuck on it or something, but um, I'll get the maintenance here to have a look. It's probably more than like just a valve or something because it's a, it's a new trailer. So it's not, it's not like it's old and battered. It's just young and battered, that's not battered. <laughs> So I've just moved the cab into the shade because uh, why not? Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with this uh, with this trailer. I think it might be an ECU that's gone uh, it's gone wrong. But um, I don't know. It could be a could be a physical problem. Maybe I don't know. Maybe there's a hole in one of the bags that we just don't know about. I, it's unlikely that, but because I can't hear any uh, coming out of it whatsoever. So wait for the professionals to give me. A diagnosis. Right, uh, it's gonna have to get repaired under warranty because it's uh, it's a manufacturing fault. 
So I'm going to drop this trailer, find another empty one, try and ship it. between this trail and the one next to it. Yeah. Right, I'll drop this and go on there and get another one. Oh, I've got a sweat on. It's not just like one one trailer you got to sort out, it's two trailers. Uh, two forklift guys on the... Two forklift guys uh, stopping it over some. I'm constantly running back and forward, moving curtains, straps, ratchets. So uh, I'm just moving out of the way so because they, they need to move that one. Because all that stuff on that one's going on. Right, it's at low. What temperature's outside? 31 degrees and it's 10.48. I am absolutely been cracking now. Um, just running around like, a, like an idiot. Do you know what? I'm going to have some orange juice. <laughs> That's not that nice. I'm honest. As does orange juice, 100% fruit. Probably because he's not sugar in it. Or. That's better. I think it's all sunk. Ah. down soon. Uh, making progress. Been on the road for about an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, currently 34 degrees. Got my temperature set to 21 and blowing on my sat nav and dash cam, um, which is fine. Don't you don't need too cold in your cab because when you get out, it'll feel awful. So um, yeah, if you know you're going to be out all night, it might be worth slowly increasing it until it's okay. And that way, it won't be much of a shock when you when you do park up. Uh, Luke's, uh, Luke's having a good time. I think Aircon's only coming out of one vent on his truck and then the heat's coming out the rest of it. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's not in the best of moods right now. <laughs> so, of course, as his mates, we, we, we have to give him stink and tell him how cool our cabs are, obviously. I mean, it's the right thing to do. Uh, we are south of Bristol now. Temperature's 35 degrees. It's toasty. And uh, showing is 16 minutes earlier than I expected. So uh, I am actually hungry, so I'm going to stop somewhere and go have a quick bite to eat and then crack on again. 
uh, that's 15 minutes is uh, all right for me. Uh, they they stopped taking deliveries at 3:30 p.m. Uh, I think there's only a couple of items to come off, and uh, we'll move on to the next one. Obviously today's been delayed and I'm never going to get anywhere near where I was supposed to be getting today uh, because that's a trailer but um, it's just one of those un un unforeseen things really you know you don't it's, uh, it's a new trailer as well so it must, must be a manufacturing fault or um, it's just gone wrong somewhere I don't know, I don't know. Rather pretty round there, isn't it? Where are we? Exeter. After one point two miles, keep right. I don't know, but I know there's a big hill coming up. And yeah, I'm going to get slowed down. I'm hoping they accept it because I mean I don't really fancy staying down on this crappy industrial estate tonight. Unless he's got some some trees somewhere for shade. Yeah, so this one I'm going to now, I'm actually going to Juicer, but it's part of St. Cobain and it says Juicer on the paper, but it's nice. It's next door. Uh, At the end of the road, it's next right. door, and if you go right, like the sat nav is saying, you, you're not going to be able to get in there. You have to go left. But your sat nav always says go right. Turn right, then. It'll become apparent why you can't turn. Well, you can turn. You can go that way. You just won't get in there. It'll become apparent in a moment. At the end of the road, turn right, Fort Road. Turn right. I suppose this is where I get all sweaty now again, isn't it? Ugh. the hell? Oh, oh please yards, <laughs> Turn right, then you have reached your destination. Turn right, then you have reached your destination. So the juice is here on the left, but you go past that. After 100 yards, you have reached your destination. And you're going through this tiny little gate here. What views are these cars everywhere? It's not too bad today. Good, didn't take the gate with us, that's always a bonus. There's a guy already in here. I'll go and speak to them, see where, if they'll accept it. Put this on, stops you getting run over, and if you do get run over, it saves your life. However, if you ever get seen one without one on, it's better than wearing one, wearing one anyway, because they'll be like straight on it. <laughs> right, how many lifts have we got? Two. It's like two, two. I'll take that. There's normally lots here.
letting their own get past first. Quite sure where uh, where it wants to be actually. Get that door shut. Next one is uh, Exeter. EX27LA It is warm out there Turn that up 35 now <laughs> uh, EX27LA EX So, so it, like it, when you're in like tight It's not really tight but when you've been places where you've never been before in like, like this Where you're like it's quite kind of tricky I mean, it's not too tricky, but if you've never done it before, it is. Uh, the best thing you can do is set yourself up before, so get the truck in position. Way before, well, as early as possible, get your truck in position. And then there's not much steering to do, to be honest. It's more adjustments. You, you can, obviously, you can't see this, but this, between the gate posts, it's probably about four inches either side. Back on that road. Have right. I? Where is it then? Greg's. What's that up there? Greenham. Ma Manly House. Very manly. Dead end up there. Falcon Road leading to Harry Away. I don't know which way to go. Uh, no. Just kind of ends. <laughs> Juicing. Just seen a sign for juicing. Left here? No. Can I turn around anywhere? That's the next question. Looks like a dead end there, so I'm gonna use this uh, use this one here to turn around. Put the uh, park anywhere lights on. FedEx, nice one mate. Just 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 see him reversing, no patience to wait, stupid. They're, they do you know what some of these some of these uh, courier companies not the ones in the vans the ones in the wagons. Are you going? Are you coming past? Better break 15 minutes. 
Right, I saw a sign here, so I'm going to turn right. And hopefully they accept delivery. It's like houses up there. Be safe, right? Do you know where Juicen is, mate? Do you know where Juicen's at is? Alright. There's a sign there, it definitely says juicing on it. Time in a minute. Let's go away directions. Twelve minutes to get in and then come outside and park up pretty much. That's if they'll accept me in. If not, I'm biking up for the night. Looks like they're doing the wrong wagons. Right, too late. So, time to go and park up. Um, Go straight through and then round. round. I'll keep an eye on your back end. Alright, cheers, mate. I was just looking on Google for somewhere with shade to park up. <laughs> they normally park along here, along this back road. What, so come? I've lost my bearings out. You can go out of our gate and turn right. Oh, is he? But if you want to go over the services first. Oh, uh, no, I'll be alright, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's where I'm going to come in, park in the estate here. Yeah, I've got four minutes left, five minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cheers, mate. Tight, not too bad. 
Oh, I've never been to this one. There's another one in Exeter I've been to then. because I don't want to cook in this camp tonight. Hello! I moved the camera, probably not. Anyway, I've uh, packed up for the evening. Um, I was in the sun over there, on the same road up over there. I was, I was in the sun, probably about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. And um, I'll just touch this glass here and it was hot to touch. It's just been baking in the sun. Um, so uh, I moved to the shade. I saw these trees there. I'm like, yep, yeah, I'm having that shade anyway. It's, it's cooled right down now. Um, it was showing 38 in, 38 on the dashboard. It's now showing 32. I tell you, I'll pinch of salt because I'm not moving, to be honest. But, you know, that's what he was saying. Uh, so it's come down a couple of degrees. Quite happy with that. Uh, I'm just going to charge my iPad, order some food on Uber because can't be bothered and I'm probably going to watch truck and, Trucking Around with Jono and Sam K's videos today why not? Catch up with my mates and um, yeah that's it, I'll see you in the morning Fancy the Sunday roast so I've got a Sunday roast thanks Toby Carberry you delivered! <laughs> 